Hello everyone, Jenna here from Science For Us. Today we're going to be looking at the story or the song found in session five of the Science For Us program. Now one of my favorite things about Science For Us is adding in that story or song. Once your kids have already learned the vocabulary and the content behind the new, uh, new activities that you're doing, it's so exciting to be able to listen to a song and see everything in action or hear a story and be able to analyze something new. So we're working on animals this month, so I thought it'd only be fitting that we check out the animals video. It's called Animal Groups. It's found again, session five, the icon opens up the song. Let's have a listen. Animals of the same type live together in groups, so they can move more easily, find the things they need. These groups have special and sometimes funny names. Let me tell you about them. When a group of baboons sits down to have lunch, those primates aren't grapes, they don't sit in a bunch. They're all special names for each animal group. When baboons get together, we call it a troop. Elephants and goats, though it may sound absurd, like giraffes and boots spend their time in a herd. I bet you never knew about a cattle of hawks, or the camels and ducks both hang out in flocks. Butters and clouds and scurries and spats, cackles and crowds and Rickles and packs, hoppers and halls and babies and troops. Yes, these are all just animal groups. Some animal groups have more than one name. Whether a nest or a knot of toads, it's the same. Whether a string or a band or a team or a stable. Horses get together whenever they're able. While porpoises and people both gather in crowds. Grasshoppers and gnats come together in clouds. You might often see butterflies in the flutter. It's spiders meeting up in a tight knit clutter. Hutters and clouds and scurries and snacks. Hackles and clouds and prickles and packs. Hoppers and halls and babies and troops. Yes, these are all just. Animal group. And now you might hear a root of wolves howl or harmonious hoots from a parliament of owls. Watch out for great mobs, a quick kangaroo, and for gangs of young elk and buffalo too. Snakes watch the kneels, each lounge in the beds, and schools of fish are really feeding their heads. Weasels and sheep eat their friends in a pack, while jellyfish float in a group called a snack. Cutters and clouds and scurries and snacks, peckles and crowds and prickles and packs, hoppers and halls and bevies and troops. Yes, these are all just animal groups. Some animal group names might make you imagine the groups of animals doing things that they don't actually do. For example, when you think of a band of gorillas, do you picture gorillas with musical instruments? They don't actually play music, but when they get together in a group, they are known as a band. How about this group of animals? If we imagine them like this, can you figure out what their group might be called? So one of my favorite things about the story or the song is at the end, you can go into a little bit more detail and ask some questions to check for understanding. So we've talked about the animal groups. Let's see if we can figure this one out. So just like those gorillas, we're going to imagine, hmm, I do see those objects underneath those gorillas. I think it might be one choice, but just because I'd like to show you what happens if I make a mistake, they're jumping all around, so maybe they're having a party. Let's try this party. one. Not that one. Try again. It's not that one. So even if your child goes through or your student goes through and they make a mistake, they simply can just guess again. So let's go with barrel. barrel. That's it. And we're correct. Groups of monkeys don't really spend time in a barrel, but their groups are known as barrels of monkeys. How about this animal group? Ooh. If we imagine them like this, can you figure out what their group might be called? Hmm, I'm going through these answer choices, but the one thing I'm noticing is how they're wearing those fun hats, and they also have those noisemakers. I'm looking at these choices here. Hmm, are they at... School. No, are they on a... Train. No, I think it's a... Party. Good. Nice job. They don't really wear party hats and drink punch, but when they are in a group, it's a party. Let's try one more. If we imagine them like this, can you figure out what their group might be called? I think I've got this one this time. That looks like a... Train. Yes. 
I'm right. Camels don't really move around on train tracks, but when they are in a group, they are known as a train. Now, choose one of these animal groups and draw the animals in your notebook the way their name makes you imagine them. Okay, so this is the last activity in the program. In this particular session, we're looking at an army of ants, a raft of ducks, or a school of fish. And the kiddos have the opportunity to, in their journals or on a piece of paper, or just talk about one of these objects and then draw it out. So it's pretty fun, and then they can have all of these new words. It's kind of neat. I also like to go through and ask them and quiz them some of the pieces. The lesson plan has all those details. So whether you just listen to the song or continue it to get the extra pieces, songs and stories are fantastic ways to learn new things. Thanks for joining us today. Hope to see you soon.